Hey everybody, this is Ross. Um, I've been doing some weeding underneath these low tunnels because it's just been, it's been so warm under here that the weeds went crazy and um, we're kind of shading out some of the figs. Now, what else I have underneath these low tunnels are actually some alpine strawberries that I, I bought some seeds. I seeded them indoors and planted them out um, last season, last spring. And they kind of struggled their first year. I think they're really difficult to get established because they're very small seeds, very difficult to seed. Um, you really have to be on top of them, make sure they don't dry out. Definitely cover them with some plastic, like a uh, plastic wrap. And that keeps them kind of moist until they germinate. But you get even, even then, it's tough to water them. Um, and you have to con constantly be keeping the, the top of the soil moist. So what you really need is probably a misting system to propagate these pretty easily. But um, yeah, I was doing the weeding and then I came across these plants and I realized that there's a bunch of these berries that are ripe. Um, in fact, perfectly ripe. Um, I was surprised that nothing got to them. There was no slug damage on these. They're extremely soft. This is then technically my second fruits of the year um, underneath the low tunnels of course but it's amazing what kind of head start these these plants have gotten um, underneath these low tunnels compared to I guess a normal year of alpines it wouldn't be nearly as early as this however um, I, I'm not complaining and this is the variety here that I planted of the I think they're the white sole alpine strawberries so they're white they're not red and um, these white ones here came highly recommended I found two varieties that I thought would be quite interesting this one was the white sole and the other one that I thought would be pretty interesting was the um, Rene de, de Valet I think it's called um, there's another name for it but uh, I'm blanking on the name, but I have the red ones over there. So these yellow ones, these white ones, are supposed to taste like pineapple, and I've had the, I've had the red ones uh, for a couple years now, and they're so, so good. They're better than really any strawberry you can eat, uh, but they're so small, as you guys see. They're very soft, so you can't, you can't ship them. I'm sure they don't last very long on the, on the counter or in your fridge. So you kind of have to go out here and eat them, but they're like the best berry you can grow. Um, out of all the berries, this is probably number one because they're just so intensely flavored. Take a strawberry, multiply the intensity of that by like three or four, and that's what you get in, in one of these. Um, it's, they're pretty close to the Mar de Bois strawberries in terms of flavor, but they're still a noticeable notch higher of that wild strawberry flavor that I talk about so often when referring to the Mar de Bois and also the, the Alpine strawberries. Um, so to have this white one is kind of strange because I've never had uh, the white Alpines yet, but I've, I've had the white regular types of strawberries and those are definitely have some pineapple flavor to them. So I'm pretty interested in that and that pineapple flavor and trying different colors of fruits because all the colors translate to different flavors, right? So this white one here should taste like pineapple, the white sole, so let's try it. Yeah, tastes like pineapple. They're so soft, um, definitely hints of strawberry and then with the pineapple, I think the dominant flavor is strawberry, then pineapple. They're not very sweet, surprisingly. I think they're good, but I uh, was expecting more, to be honest, out of an alpine strawberry. I think um, I was hoping for something really intense. You know, the last one I just had was had a, like a really nice wine flavor to it, like a, like a nice... Um, like kind of like a wine aftertaste you would get. Um, so that flavor is still in my mouth a bit. But still, I'm uh, a little disappointed. 
Um, I think it's interesting to have a strawberry that tastes like a pineapple, but um, you know, maybe I should re reserve judgment or final judgment until maybe I get a bit more of these. We're a bit further into the season. Um, they just seem not very sweet. Maybe it's a bit dry in here because I do need to water some of this. Now this is, eh, it's semi-moist. I don't know, but they, if I bring you guys in here closer, you'll see there's a lot more strawberries coming. There's a lot of flowers. There's a lot of these little fruits. So they're, they're definitely worth growing um, in the form of any Alpine, I think. But I'd rather go with the red ones. They're way more intensely flavored. You can see this nice cluster in this plant here is doing pretty well. Um, I don't know how many fruits are on here. But they continue to produce throughout the entirety of the season. So I'll have them now all the way till frost. And uh, it's just pretty cool, I guess. But again, I'd rather have the red ones. If you guys enjoyed this, and maybe you've had these white ones before, the white sole, let me know what you thought. And uh, we'll see everybody soon, all right? Subscribe, check out our blog, figboss.com. Take care, everybody.